All right, well, I'm just going to jump right into this. Welcome to uh, Skyler Learns French. Oh, pardon. Uh, <laughs> Bonjour tout le monde. Bienvenue, mon programme. Skyler Learns French. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -da. Ah. I don't have a theme song yet. I need to hear How about this? Yeah, I got, I, I should have, I need to get on that. Um, welcome to my, uh, my program that I'm taking over Sweet Crude Stream with. Uh, my name is Skylar. I'm learning French. And uh, today is day two of my 30-day challenge to get on the internet and tell everybody or show everybody my learning process, if you can call it that. Um, it's, <laughs> it's kind of a mess, but we're working on it. Um, the more important thing is that this is keeping me accountable and you get to see me, um, the, the enjoying part for you is you get to see me mess up a bunch. Um, okay, well, I'm just going to jump right in, try to keep this as short as possible. Um, but the plan is to keep working out of this book that I have um, and uh, go over some vocabulary words and read some sentences but then i'm just going to watch a, a video today in french and um, see if i can understand what they're what they're saying uh, i've already started my day by listening to about an hour of radio canada um, which was great and um, way too fast but i love it and i'm going to keep doing it and um, now it's time to actually do the work so i'm doing a little bit of a a little bit, a bit of a recap. It's, it's not exactly where the level is. I mean, uh, these words that I'm starting with are fairly basic, but uh, the book progressives, and I feel like it'd be a good 30-day challenge just to get this whole book through and make sure I got all the words down. Um, so I'm excited with that. Um, and somebody made me flashcards. Thank you, Madam Frame, for doing that. Um, so I'm going to just get right into it. Rather than looking at my book for this, I'm going to share my screen and um, we'll jump right over. So let's do a little bit of refresh for the day. Uh, we've got 20 words that we went through yesterday. Um, we're going to add about t 10, 15 more and um, let's, just, let's just get through this. Okay. À la maison. Let's see. À la maison. À la maison. Got it. Got it pretty good here. Um, ooh, you know what? Let me make sure this chat is working so I can see you guys. Uh, that would be nice. Uh, da -da 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 -da. One second. Pardon. Um, looks like we got a couple people. So, yes, I'm here. I have a chat open if you guys want to talk. Uh, okay. A la maison. Uh, accrocher. 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 Accrocher is uh, to hang. Accrocher. Okay. Allez dans. This is, let's see. Allez dans. Allez dans. Uh, this is to go into. Allez dans. Une assiette. Une assiette. Une assiette. This is a plate. Correct? It is a plate. Cool. Uh, da, da, da. Aussi, this is also. Aussi. Also, too. Avec, this is with. Avec. Avec, with. Un bateau. A boat. <laughs> oh, wait, I know how to say a boat. Un bateau. Un bateau. Un bateau, a boat. Cool. Blanc, uh, or blanche, uh, depending on whether it's feminine or masculine. And this is the word for white. I was supposed to say that so you know that I knew it. Blanc blanche. Blanche. Blanc. Like Maison Blanche, which is out of business. Uh, bois. Oh, dang it. I messed up. Bois. Ba. Bois? Bois. Bois. Uh, wood. Um, wooden. So I actually missed this one because <laughs> I didn't remember it. <laughs> I clicked the button. So I'm going to star it. I gotta come back to bois. Okay. Un breuvage. Breuvage. We talked about this yesterday. Breuvage. This is a beverage? A drink. Yes. Breuvage. A drink. No, other way. Breuvage. Un breuvage. Okay. 
les dang it les quatre cook <laughs> um a quatre cook uh let me get this pronunciation le right le caoutchouc quatre cook quatre cook le caoutchouc caoutchouc oh lord i'm just going to start it le caoutchouc caoutchouc this means rubber le caoutchouc the rubber le caoutchouc okay that's difficult ceci or ce and this is this ceci ce cool uh une chaise une chaise une chaise this is a chair une chaise la chaise uh une chatte une chatte this is a cat uh, cool. Uh, un chien. Uh, un chien. Or un chien. Un chien, une chien. Chien. Uh, male dog or female dog. Le coin. Oh, crap. Uh, le coin. What is this? Uh, the corner. Yeah. Le coin. Le coin. Okay. Um... Comfortable. 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 Comfort. Comfortable. Uh, which is comfortable, right? Agréable. Nice. Cozy. Uh, nice. Cozy. Nope. No, the other way. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Agréable. Agréable. Okay. Doing pretty good there. Courrier. Courrier. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Courrier. No, I had it. Courier. It's pretty close. Courier. Okay. Uh, this is to run. It is a verb, and it means to run. Courier. Okay. Un coulier. We're doing good, guys. We're getting through. We're in 20 out of 38. Uh, coulier. Un coulier. Cuillier. I got to start this. Un coulier. And... Oh crap, what is this? Clear. I gotta look. A spoon! Dang it! <laughs> clear. Okay. Fine. I missed it. Uh, la cuisine. So this is the kitchen. Yes. La cuisine. Don. In. De. Of or from, Let's see what it says. From out of, okay. You see that everywhere. Uh, de l'autre côté, de l'autre côté, ou à travers de. I think this is saying coming from. De l'autre côté, uh, ou à travers de. Let's hear it. De l'autre côté, à travers de. À travers de. Uh, let's see what it says. Oh, across from. Cool. So I got to start that one. Let's just one more time. De l'autre côté, à travers de. Okay. Across from. Uh, so like. Uh, le chat est à travers de cu cuisine. Uh, how'd I do? No? Okay. <laughs> Derrière. Back there, buddy. Derrière. Uh, ou, uh, arrière. En arrière. Derrière. En arrière. En arrière. Um, so that's behind. Right. Almost there. Low. This is water. Low. Uh, A is and. Got that. Etre uh, is the base of almost all of this language. Etre is to be. Got to know that one. Uh, levier. Le levier. 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 When guardian levier. Uh, what is? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> to sink the sink. 
Okay. Oh, kind of like the washer, right? Okay, I got to start. Right? Le -le levier. Le -le wait. Levier. Okay. La fenêtre. Uh, this is a window. La fenêtre. Fenêtre. I, I thought it was la fenêtre. Maybe I'm just thinking of fenêtre, like the the core. Uh, fenêtre. Let me know if this is right. Fenêtre. Um, okay. I got to go back to some of these comments, um, but I'll, I'll get there for sure. Uh, fenêtre is what we're going with for window. Let's start because um, I need to get that pronunciation going. Okay. Un fleur. Un fleur. This is a flower. A flower. Un fleur. Le flot. Le faux. Le faux. Ah. Uh, is that the floor? Oh, it's the stove. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> What's the floor? Okay. Um, un feu. Oh, I'm. Fenêtre. Okay. Yay. I'm. I, apparently, I'm right. Uh, okay, and I don't know what the stove is. <laughs> uh, fourchette. Fourchette. So, hmm, deductive reasoning here. If le feu is a stove, the stove, une fourchette should be, should be a, like a stove pot. <laughs> I have a feeling that's wrong. It's a fork! <laughs> Uh, okay. Fork. <laughs> I didn't really study this before, so. Uh, okay. Uh, fourchette. Fourchette. Like, okay. Use my fourchette to eat my food. Fourchette. Gotta store it. Okay. <laughs> Le gaz. Le gaz. Um, the gas. Le gas, le gas. What is this? Le gaz. Le gaz. Oh, like, um, yeah, like, when I was studying German, it was uh, Wasser mit gas for, like, bubbly water. So this is uh, le gas, I'm assuming. Like, le avec gas. Somebody let me know if that's, if, I, if I'm even close. Uh, okay. Uh, le gros pan. Le gros pan. Uh, I don't. I. You know what? I gotta go back. I should have started this. Okay. Um, le grill pan. Um, the the grill. The bread grill. The. <laughs> it is a grill. It it's a bread grill. It's a toaster. Uh, the bread grill. Okay. Le grill pan. Cool. Uh, Charlotte says, Le gazeuse is bubbling water. Yeah, okay. On the right path. Okay, toaster. Le gros pan, we're going to move on from you. I'll come back. I'll remember you, though. Uh, gris. Uh, this is gray. Gris, gray. Gros. This is big. Gros, grand. Grand. A large. Uh, da, 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 da. yes, big. Okay. Uh, il y a, and that is there is, or this is, there are. Shoot. Um, il y a is there are. There is, there are. Yeah, okay. I had a freak out that I messed that up. Okay, well, here's what we're going to do. That took 15 minutes to go through those flashcards. Um... So I'm going to do my homework, and I'm going to study these again. I'm going to add um, in my book. Let's go back to that guy in the book. So we have that was all the way through 37. So I've got to go. I got to go down to 98, which is a word in French I don't know how to say. Um, <laughs> what is it? Quatre vingt dix huit. Is that right? these we something like that um god we gotta do numbers again i gotta really step this up guys um okay so i've got i've got a couple here that i'm gonna have to um put into flashcards 
we'll add to them. We'll go over the ones we did last week. And um, and then and then I think it'll be fair to go through these sentences so that I'm not uh, so so that we've done the prep, we've done the work, we we know some words to set up all of these um, translations. We're gonna go through. Um, so for the next 15 minutes, you didn't know this was gonna be a 30 minute lesson, did you? <laughs> you can leave. This is this is for me. It's okay. You won't hurt my feelings. Um, I, for the next, oh, I'm and I'm, I'm just showing you a book. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna switch over and just watch a video, and see if we can uh, listen along and pick out what he's saying. How does that sound? Um, so I've been on this kick of uh, this series called Easy French. Um, what I like about it is it's uh, it's like actual conversation they don't slow down every now and then they'll go slow just to like for if you're specifically trying to learn words um but they do a lot of just conversation so you get to hear people at full speed in normal day context which i'm all about and uh love it but this one is more of a breakfast timey theme it's five minutes i don't know if we'll get through the whole thing um but uh it should be fun <laughs> Actually, let me not full screen it so I can see comments. Um, but yeah, let's let's do this. So we're gonna um, we're gonna see if I can understand what what this person is saying about uh, about breakfast. Bienvenue dans Super Easy French. Aujourd'hui, je viens de me lever et nous allons voir tout ce qu'on peut faire le matin comme activité. Allez, c'est parti. Alors, suivez-moi, on va faire un petit déjeuner. Oh my gosh. J'ouvre la porte. Et on arrive un petit peu dans la cuisine bientôt. I'm already lost. <laughs> Hold up. Let's do this again. <laughs> Allez, c'est parti. Alors. I'll, so, already, I, I, I want to I actually do this full screen because I can't really see it. So. Suivez-moi. I love this. Allez, c'est parti. Allez, c'est parti. You have to know that. Grab that right now. Allez, c'est parti. Okay. Nous allons voir tout ce qu'on peut faire le matin comme activité. Allez, c'est parti. Alors, suivez-moi, on va faire un petit déjeuner. Alors, alors suivez-moi. So follow me. Alors, suivez-moi. I love that. On va faire un petit déjeuner. Cool. That's fun. We're going, we're going to go make breakfast. On va faire. On va faire. We're going to make and then un petit déjeuner breakfast. Cool. Got it. I'm with you. J'ouvre la porte. <laughs> I love the commentary. Uh, J'ouvre la porte. I'm opening the door. J'ouvre la porte. Cool. Et on arrive un petit peu dans la cuisine bientôt. Uh, one thing I noticed, these things don't exactly match up with their translations, but... For me, I'd much rather just listen and try to not read along uh, unless, like, I like listening to the first time without reading along and trying to see if I get it, then jumping back to the words. I think that was, he says bientôt at the end of that sentence. Et on arrive un petit peu dans la cuisine bientôt. Bientôt, right, yeah. I didn't quite catch that, but it's all good. Suivez-moi, suivez-moi, venez. Oh, yeah, suivez-moi, suivez-moi, venez, venez, come. Love it. Okay. Suivez-moi, suivez-moi, venez. Voilà, n'ayez pas peur, n'ayez crainte. On va regarder un peu ce qu'il y a dans le frigo. On va regarder. I, I kind of got that. And then... <laughs> dans le frigo. Okay. I'm going to try one more time and we'll move on. On va regarder un peu ce qu'il y a dans le frigo. Alors, qu'est-ce qu'on a Il y a pas mal de trucs hein, dans le frigo. Donc, euh, par exemple, il y a ce, ce jus de fruits qui n'a pas de marque, attention. <rire> Puis, euh, bah, du lait, du coup, du, du très bon lait euh, hongrois. Ils disent, euh, nous aimons les produits laitiers hongrois. Oh, man. <rire> This is so hard. OK. Puis du lait, du très bon lait hongrois. Hongrois. So it's Hungarian, which is definitely a word I would never have heard before in French. But that's cool. Par exemple. Il y a ce, il y a ce juice uh, de fruit, fruit juice. Il y a ce juice de fruit 
qui n'est pas de marque, which doesn't have a brand. Okay. <laughs> qui n'est pas de qui n'est pas de marque. Cool. Qui n'a pas de marque, attention. Oh, marque. <laughs> oui, qui n'a pas de marque. Okay. Par exemple, il y a ce, ce jus de fruits qui n'a pas de marque, attention. <laughs> And that's what makes him laugh. Okay, that's funny. I like it. <laughs> ce, ce jus de fruits qui, qui n'a pas, pas de, de marque, marque attention. <laughs> puis, euh, bah, du lait. Puis, da, du, puis du lait. Uh, so, puis, I think he says something else, maybe. Puis. Marque, attention. <laughs> puis, euh, bah, du lait. Puis something du lait, puis du lait. Uh, so we have some milk, du très bon lait. Du, du très bon lait euh, hongrois. Hongrois. Euh, nous aimons les produits laitiers hongrois. Donc, donc moi aussi, c'est vraiment délicieux. Du camembert. Du mais... camembert. Wait, what? Du camembert. Du camembert. What is that? Oh, I've already messed it up. Les produits laitiers hongrois. Donc, donc moi aussi, c'est vraiment délicieux. Du camembert. Some camembert. I, what is camembert? Does anybody know what camembert is? Oh, is it too low? I'm sorry. This whole time, it's been too low. Um, yeah, I don't know what camembert is. <laughs> but apparently, in in French, it's the same as English. <laughs> so that's cool. C'est vraiment délicieux. Du camembert, mais là, on va s'intéresser particulièrement au petit déjeuner. Comme on est le matin. Le matin, on mange en France et partout dans le monde un petit déjeuner. Oh Lord, that was a good sentence that I. Uh, oh, camembert. Oh, it's fromage. Okay, c'est c'est fromage. Camembert est type de fromage. How to do? <laughs> uh, okay, le matin uh, on mange. Uh, on mange en France. Uh, so we eat breakfast. Oh, en France. Mange en France et partout dans le monde. Et partout dans, dans le monde, un petit déjeuner. In France and everywhere around the world. Un petit déjeuner. On a okay. deux types de yaourt différents. Yaourt, yaourt, yogurt. Deux yaourt. Yaourt. <laughs> oh, what a weird word. That's a weird one in, uh, in English. Yaourt. Okay. Déjeuner. On a deux types de yaourt différents. Différent. Ce yaourt là est un yaourt nature. Ça veut yeah. dire que c'est du yaourt tout simple et qu'il n'y a rien qui a été rajouté dedans. Rajouté dedans. It has been... Nothing has been added. It était rajouté dedans. Ugh. I don't... I don't quite... Quite follow here. C'est un yaourt ou pas... But that's cool. Par exemple, on peut mettre du miel. Du miel. Un très bon Honey. miel d'acacia. Et... Euh, on peut mettre de la confiture ou du sucre, par exemple, pour donner un peu plus de goût. Pour moi, manger un yaourt nature, nature, c'est euh, un peu hardcore quand même. Alors... Hardcore. hardcore. Ok. Lots there. So much there. Um, this... <laughs> um, in French, you, in Quebec, you say something like yo, yo, yaourt. Yeah, what a weird word. Um, c'est un yaourt ou uh, where in which ou par exemple on peut mettre du miel. Uh, you, we can you can put mettre uh, du miel some honey. Uh, cool. Is it, so that makes sense. Mettre du miel. That's mettre cool. Du miel. Oh, French Canadians say we say. Yogur, without the T. Yogur, is that right? Yogur. Little weird, one-sided conversation with me trying to get the stuff going. But all right, Co five bon more. My brain is hurting. It's cool. I'm feeling good though. We're doing it. <laughs> um, oh, and my camera's off this whole time. What is happening with that? Why? What happened? Oh, it must have just gone to sleep. It did not like it. Well, I have this guy, so you can hear, see my messy room. Um, let's see if it came back on. Oh, there it is. Weird. Okay. Well, we're back to this. Um, I got five more minutes, and I'm going to make do. We're going to push through. 
it's been a good workout class. <laughs> it's kind of like working out. It's working out your brain. Et euh, peut mettre de la confiture ou du sucre, par exemple, pour donner un peu plus de goût. Pour moi, manger un yaourt nature, nature, c'est euh, c'est un peu hardcore quand même. Okay, I want to just nail this. C'est un peu hardcore quand même. It's still, it is a bit hardcore all the same. Hardcore quand même. <laughs> C'est un peu hardcore, hardcore quand même. That's great. Un peu hardcore quand même. Alors, en France, on prescrit de manger 5 fruits et légumes par jour. Donc, tous les jours, j'essaie de manger des fruits et des légumes. Et le matin, parce que c'est un peu difficile de manger des légumes, j'essaie de manger des fruits, donc. OK. J'essaie de manger des fruits, donc. is where he finished. Um, this is great. You know what I'm going to do? I've got three minutes left, and that was a lot to get through, like, stopping and starting. I want to just listen to up to that point. Bonjour à tous. Oh. Et... And just... Bonjour à See tous et bienvenue dans Super Easy French. Aujourd'hui, je viens de me lever et nous allons voir tout ce qu'on peut faire le matin comme activité. Allez, c'est parti. Alors, suivez-moi, on va faire un petit déjeuner. J'ouvre la porte. J'ouvre la porte. Et on arrive un petit peu dans la cuisine bientôt. Bientôt La cuisine Bientôt Suivez-moi, suivez-moi, viens. Suivez-moi, suivez-moi, venez. Venez. Voilà, n'ayez pas peur, n'ayez, n'ayez crainte. On va regarder un peu ce qu'il y a dans le frigo. Alors, Alors. qu'est-ce qu'on a Il y a pas mal de trucs hein, dans le frigo. Donc, euh, par exemple, il y a ce, ce jus de fruits qui n'a pas de marque, attention. <rire> qui n'a pas de marque Puis, euh, bah, du Oui, lait, de lait. Du, coup, du, du très bon lait euh, hongrois. Hongrois. Ils, euh, nous aimons les produits laitiers hongrois. Hongrois. Donc, donc, moi aussi, c'est vraiment délicieux. Vraiment du délicieux. camembert. Mais camembert. là, on va s'intéresser particulièrement, particulièrement au petit déjeuner, le petit comme on est le matin. Le matin, on mange en France et partout dans le monde un petit déjeuner. On a deux types de yaourts différents. Ce yaourt là est un yaourt nature. nature. Ça nature. veut dire que c'est du yaourt tout simple Ça veut et dire qu'il n'y a que... rien qui a été rajouté dedans. Rajouté dedans. C'est un yaourt où, par exemple, on peut mettre du, du miel. 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 Un très miel. bon miel d'acacia. Et euh, on peut mettre de la confiture ou du sucre, par exemple, pour donner un peu plus de goût. Pour moi, manger un yaourt nature, nature, c'est, euh, c'est un peu hardcore quand même. Alors. <laughs> ok. Ok. Well, let's end on hardcore de même. Because <laughs> uh, that's hilarious to me. Um, all right. That was fun. And uh, I did it. Day two. Yay. I don't know when we're going to do this again. Thanks for the few people that were hanging out. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and if uh, you like it, let me know. And if you think other people would like it, let me know. And otherwise, I'm just going to keep doing it because I need to. So thanks for uh, thanks to Sweet Crude for letting me take over their channel. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. A bientôt. A demain. Uh, bye.